Alcoholic pancreatitis is one of the most common causes of pancreatitis. And one-fifth of all the people that have an acute pancreatitis will have a second bout of pancreatitis. And about 50% of those will go on to develop chronic pancreatitis. Let us take a closer look at how alcohol causes pancreatitis. Have you ever wondered why alcohol causes pancreatitis? And why some heavy drinkers get pancreatitis and others do not? Well, it turns out that alcohol actually does not cause pancreatitis. Alcohol sensitizes the pancreas to the effects of genetic and other environmental factors that then trigger pancreatitis. Alcohol abuse is one of the leading causes of pancreatitis worldwide, causing about 17 to 25 percent of all cases of acute pancreatitis, making it the second most common cause of pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis, after gallstones. It is, however, the leading cause of chronic pancreatitis. The pancreas is an organ situated next to the stomach that is responsible for the production and secretion of digestive enzymes such as amylase and lipase and proteases such as trypsinogen. It is also responsible for the production of insulin and glucagon, two hormones that regulate our blood sugar. Digestive enzymes are harsh enzymes that can damage the tissues of the pancreas if they become activated before they reach the bowel. And this is exactly what happens in pancreatitis. Digestive enzymes are produced in the acinar cells of the pancreas. The whole process hinges on the malfunction of structures in the cell known as organelles. In particular, an organelle that is responsible for the production and secretion of digestive enzymes, that is, the endoplasmic reticulum. Digestive enzymes are produced in the acinar cells of the pancreas. After production, they enter the endoplasmic reticulum where they undergo folding into shapes necessary for their function. When alcohol comes into contact with the acinar cells, Alcohol can stimulate the acinar cells to produce more digestive enzymes through the increased production of RNA. And this can lead to a buildup of malfolded or unfolded proteins in the endoplasmic reticulum. The acinar cells also break down alcohol into its metabolites reactive oxygen species, as well as fatty acid ethyl esters. And these can act directly on the endoplasmic reticulum and cause malfunction, a buildup of unfolded and misfolded proteins. Alternatively, the fatty acid ethyl esters can cause a massive release of calcium ions into the interior of the cell. And this leads to a malfunction of the mitochondria, which leads to a low energy state inside the cell, which can cause the malfunction of organelles, including the endoplasmic reticulum, leading to a buildup of more unfolded proteins, malfolded proteins in the endoplasmic reticulum. This triggers a response known as the unfolded protein response, which is a protective response that protects the pancreas from the effects of alcohol. However, if this unfolded protein response is inhibited by exposure to environmental insults, such as cigarette smoke, or certain medications, or fatty acids, or uh, obesity or bacterial toxins in the blood. This 
can cause a breakdown of this protective mechanism and lead to a malfunction of organelles in the cell, which then causes the activation of the digestive enzymes in the pancreas itself, leading to inflammation and pancreatitis, necrosis, death of the cells in the pancreas. The inflammation at times can spread to other organs in the body via the bloodstream and the lymphatics, and this can lead to multiple organ failure, which can be a fatal condition. The only way for us to prevent alcoholic pancreatitis is by complete and total abstinence. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, like, share with friends and family. Thank you for watching. Support the channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.